All right, so today we're gonna to be going over what NBA players could have possibly played in the NFL. So it's very speculative. Um, most of these guys haven't played football much since early high school, maybe even middle school. You know, when you're great at a sport like basketball, you wanna really focus on that sport. But with that being said, I think these five players have the physical uh, ability as well as uh, skill tool sets to be able to do well in the NFL. So number one, the king, LeBron James. Uh, he actually was an all-state wide receiver as a sophomore, he was ranked nationally as a sophomore and he received multiple D1 offers. LeBron has a naturally big frame and is extremely athletic uh, in his Miami Heat days. So this was when he was at his biggest, he claimed to run a 4.6 in the 40. And this is while he was weighing over 260 pounds, maybe, you know, close to 270 probably, and still had a 40 plus inch vertical. I had to estimate that he probably most likely ran like a four or five when he first came into the league. So at the NFL level, maybe he's a tight end, um, just because he's, ex he's really big uh, for being a wide receiver, and this is him playing basketball, not even football. But if he decided that he wanted to stay lean, then he would be a godly level receiver, though he, he is a bit tall. And I don't see him as being much of a blocker. Next, uh, the Energizer Bunny, the Brody, Russell Westbrook. So, I mean... We know Russell Westbrook to be an athletic freak. Uh, probably has a 40 plus inch vertical. I know at the combine, he was measured at 36, but I'm pretty sure it's gone up. And a prime Westbrook at his best probably is 40 plus, uh, at least running. And it probably runs like a 4 3 40 and extremely agile. And at six foot three, he would be a scary free safety, being able to cover the field with great range. Uh, he'd be he'd probably be around 210. I'm thinking that's around what he weighs now. So that's probably, you know, weight, around what he weighed in the NFL. He also, you know, would have the skill sets to be a wide receiver. And he could be a corner as well. Though I would like to see him at free safety and just let him just run and use his speed and hit guys. I want to see him hit guys. He's going to hit guys. And he's going to get to do that at free safety. Though corner would be a good fit and he would be a... Uh, uh, Insane at wide receiver, running a four three, great agility, with hops at six foot three. Yeah, he he would be a mismatch. Next, we're gonna go Zion Williamson. He the 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 freak of freaks. He has a forty five plus inch vertical. Um, at what six 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 seven. 280 pounds, you know, from his uh, Duke playing weight. And, you know, looking at his Duke tape, I would estimate that he runs probably a 4'6", 4'7", 40 yard dash. And one thing with Zion is he has no, he has no problem putting on size. With 280, he doesn't really need to. Um, again, he would be a great tight end. I think, you know, one thing about basketball players is they, they're all natural catchers, so they would all be great catchers in the football. But I want to see him a defensive end. At 280 pounds, running 
you know, 4'6", 4'7", 4'8", at the high end with a, you know, 45 plus inch vertical. Uh, whoo. You know, I, my my money's on him running a 4.6. You know, that's wow with with a 40 plus inch vertical. That sounds a lot like Miles Garrett. We've been looking at a Miles Garrett 2.0. Yeah, that's crazy. Next, Kawhi Leonard. So Kawhi Leonard is probably the least uh, naturally athletic player on this list. You know, he doesn't have the 40 inch verticals like, you know, the other guys. And he's not a guy who's gonna, you know, run like a 4-3 or something like that. But he's athletic enough. He has great defensive instincts. He has, you know, a defensive mindset. He has crazy long arms, huge hands, you know, a good ability to change directions and to, you know, read what a offensive player is going to do. I would want to put him at strong safety, not lockdown corner, just because I don't, I don't trust his speed. I'm not saying he's slow, but you know, against NFL receivers, where just a normal guy is running a you know a four five, and you have guys running four fours and four threes, and Tyreek Hill is running four twos. I'm not sure I want you know Kawhi six foot seven self covering those guys in the open field. Not saying that I don't think he could do it, but I think he would be better at strong safety, where he could really use that length. Um. If the, if the ball is in Kawhi's vicinity, he's going to find a way to make a play on it. Good luck catching a 50-50 ball on Kawhi Leonard. Six foot seven, crazy long arms, crazy huge hands. If, <laughs> if he's not coming down with the ball, he's at least knocking it out of the way or something. And last but not least, Zach Levine. You know, he's six foot six, uh, crazy vertical, probably 45 plus, great speed. If I had to guess, maybe, you know, four or five ish. And, you know, he's not super skinny. Um, I'm thinking he's probably, what, around 210. So he would be a, total mismatch of receiver. He would be a godly receiver. I mean, who jump balls galore, running streaks, everything. So yeah, those are uh, five players who are currently playing in the NBA, who I think could have possibly made the NFL if they put their mind to it from an early age. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later.